If I should return with my body on my shield, tell my son I chose to die, then yield. Though my life may soon be gone, I hope you'll carry on. Remember me. As one who would not heal. Fight with blood, fight with steel, die with honor. That was on the news about Kevin Johnson most recently, uh, about, I don't know, a month ago. Yeah, it was about a month ago. And uh, I just want you to, this is just one allegation. I mean, this man has so many fucking allegations against him, it's not funny. And he just fucking talks him away every time like like nothing. I'm going to continue making more videos on this as well. I mean, I'm, I'm touching everything under the sun all the time, folks. That's why you need to stay up to date with shit that I do. And it may not sound important in the beginning, but trust me, by the time I finish the fucking video and finish what I'm trying to get past you, and, I mean, this is really just scum of the fucking earth toilet film. And so, I don't know. Before I get angry anymore, since I got more videos to make, I'll just play the video for you. And you can... Do whatever you want with the information. Fame, money, power. Celebrity athletes play by a different set of rules. When she was a teenager, she says Kevin Johnson sexually abused her. Celebrated as heroes. Play like he invented the game. Other allegations brought by young girls. Some think they're untouchable, above the law. For over 20 years, Kevin Johnson has been accused repeatedly of these crimes, and he's allegedly used his power and wealth to silence his victims. Um, he started following me or whatever, and I my stomach, and that's my butt. The release of a videotaped police interview with Johnson's then 16-year-old accuser. She says Sacramento Mayor Kevin Johnson sexually abused her. Accused Mayor Kevin Johnson of molestation. Including fondling, showering together, and rubbing his genitals against her bare thigh. She says he made her, quote, pinky promise she wouldn't tell anyone. He offered to pay her $230,600. I haven't told her anything because I think he promised to little. I want to tell her what happened in the get-go. Koba is not the only one to accuse Johnson of inappropriate behavior. Young girls at St. Hope, the school Johnson founded, the St. Hope accusations. Teenage students at St. Hope High School accused Johnson of inappropriate contact. A Sacramento High School senior claimed that Johnson touched her inappropriately and kissed her on the cheek and forehead on several occasions. Their teacher, Eric Jones, resigned in protest, saying, quote, St. Hope sought to intimidate the students through an illegal interrogation. Johnson has faced allegations in his past. Past allegations of sexual misconduct. Two AmeriCorps volunteers at St. Hope also accused Johnson of making sexual advances. One reported Johnson even came to her home and slid his hand up her shirt. She also reported that he offered her a thousand dollars a month for her silence. She refused. The sexual harassment claim against Sacramento Mayor Kevin Johnson. The city worker who accused the mayor of making numerous sexual advances for him. Saying Johnson routinely harassed her in 2013 and 2014. At one point, allegedly pressing his body up against Muller's and asking her, quote, if she felt it. This is very troubling for the mayor. It's a cloud that's been hanging over his head. These allegations that have been following him for the last 20 years. Sacramento Mayor Kevin Johnson will not seek another term as mayor. Well, Kevin Johnson does have 14 months left in office. Join with men and women across Sacramento, California, and the nation to demand that Kevin Johnson resign from office immediately. Wait, wait, wait. I'm not going anywhere. Wait, wait. This is not my last day. This is not my last day. 
it's not your last day. <clears throat> well, you can see why I get very upset about shit. Now, this isn't just at the mayoral level. I don't want to begin to even describe to you the stories I've heard of the shit that goes on with the government guys. But this guy, he's one of the people coming up. You mark my words on that. They fucking grooming this man. Barack Obama and him are fucking, they might as well be best friends. The fucking guy spends more time out on the East Coast than he does the West Coast. In D.C., playing fucking basketball and who knows, fucking penis pong with Barack Obama. This man is fucking toilet film. He should be hung from the balls and boiled in oil from the head. I'm on your fucking ass still, Kevin. Uh, somebody wants to mention something about Kevin Johnson. Uh, how he, I guess, the mayor from New York City is the mayor of mayors. I didn't, it's not what I heard. Uh... You know, I know Kevin Johnson pretty well. I'm, I'm on him like a new fucking suit every single day of his life. He knows that. He knows me very well. And I've done plenty of videos on the fucking guy. Apparently, like I say, nobody ever follows my shit. So here's this. United States Conference of Mayors. Where Kevin Johnson becomes the president of the United States Conference of Mayors. And uh, if you don't know what the Conference of Mayors is, you can read the article yourself. Uh, come over here to YouTube, you know, Point Guard of Pennsylvania Avenue, and you go to the video on Kevin Johnson's, you know, <laughs> he's playing his little fucking music for when he, from when he used to play basketball. Like I said, they're real good friends. Uh, their wives are even better friends. Obama forms mayoral alliance. I want to check that out. Washington Watch. Kevin Johnson on his transition from the NBA to mayor's office. And then it goes on to talk about, uh, it's like one of those fucking NBC interviews, you know. The guy's asking him, like, real questions and shit, but he's not asking him the questions that people want to know. You know, hey, Mr. Johnson, what about your sex scandals and shit? You know, he's got restraining orders that he's filed against people. That's how he shuts people up. And keeps him away from him. He just files a restraining order. What, you're not going to give the fucking mayor a restraining order? Uh, so, there's been quite a few of those. Uh, mayor sues his city attorney. Uh, fucking sex scandals are, what, four or five? Number four or five are on now. Uh, misuse of funds at City Hall. Uh, putting poisonous fluoride in our water, which goes against California and federal code. Uh, yeah, I know about fucking Kevin Johnson. I know about all fucking Barack Obama, the whole crew, man. The whole crew. I'm on them like a new fucking suit. Every day. Forever. Until my fucking last breath. Until they're fucking underground. So, I know what the fuck I'm talking about. And please, how many times do I gotta fucking say it, man? You gonna fucking question me on government shit? Read some fucking articles. And anyways, this is an incredible story anyhow because you wouldn't believe the fucking shit that this guy is involved in. And then it pisses me off too because I used to like fucking love this guy when he played basketball. And then I was like, oh wow, Kevin Johnson? He's the mayor of Sacramento? Yeah, that's what I first said when I moved out here. And I found out he was, uh, well, actually, I found out he was a scumbag before I even made the connection with him and Obama. So, but, if you try to get any articles out here about this guy, you won't find them. You won't hear any fucking thing about this in Sacramento. Nope, 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 nope. And you know what else? You won't see any, any, out, anybody else from Sacramento doing video on him either. Nope, 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 nope. 
Just me, just me, just me, just me. That's why I'm on him like a new fucking suit. You hear me, KJ? I'm on you like like fucking flies on shit. The whole damn city council. Like flies on shit. And Neil Cash Kyrie, I ain't forget about your ass either, buddy boy. I'm gonna wait till they have you under the fucking jail. I told you I was coming for your ass, son. And you got called out. You finally got called out like a little bitch you are. And there's gonna be a lot more calling out. In case the you people haven't heard it, the Neil Cash Kyrie video. Where he's, uh, game. What's up, folks? It's Wix. And I gotta put some schooling on. And <laughs> you know who you are. You're lucky you're my, my buddy, man. man. I gotta do some schooling here. First of all, you're lucky you're my buddy. Or else I would be fucking chewing you up and spitting your ass out right now. You know who you are. And it's good anyways because I get to have some laugh time. Which I really fucking needed. Because Kevin Johnson, we go hand in hand. Well, if you don't know, I've done many videos on Kevin Johnson. And... Well, <laughs> let's just go through some of it. Me and Kevin Johnson know each other pretty well. Don't we, Kevin? Yeah, I wear his ass like a new fucking suit every day. Yep. United States Conference of Mayors. Sacramento Mayor Evan Johnson becomes the 72nd President of the United States Conference of Mayors. Justmayors.org Now ask yourself, why do they have a League of Mayors? I think that's self-explanatory. If you look at some of the other groups like that, like, uh, I don't know, government groups? Like, uh, I don't know, maybe the fucking executive cabinet of the presidential? This <laughs> shit. Ladies and gentlemen, the story you are about to see is true. We stand behind you, Mayor. And as a black man that we put in office, this is your time to represent the people who put you there and the voice of the people across this nation. You've been given a very unique opportunity. You do have the right to tell the police chief what to do because you are his boss. And, and the people are all of your bosses. And so we want to say that we support you as a black man, as our mayor, and we respect you and we thank you for what you're doing and we hope that you will take the message that the people are putting forth in Sacramento because we are a voice of the people across this country. Thank you. All right, thanks. Hi, everybody. Christina Rechica. Um, I'm the founder of the Black Lives Matter movement shortly after Mike Brown was murdered in Ferguson here in Sacramento. 
and my own cousin actually was murdered by a police officer Mantika over four years ago. I'm also part of the Just Justice Steering Committee that helped um, with, the, with um, input on this item, and I just want to say that I am in support of it. Um, say that again. <laughs> wait, camera, somebody got it. Wait, sir, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Wait, 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 sir, I'm being dead, sir. I'll give you an extra minute. I mean, 30 seconds. Wait, 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 wait. I'm in support. <laughs> I am in support, and I just want to say um, one. I just want to say thanks to Angela Gashby for her leadership on this piece. Um, I think that it's something that you know for me was the most important piece of this. Um, there are some things that you know I you know thought could be a little bit different, but I say overall it's something that I do support, and I just want to say that this is very important to um, you know address the issues that we seen in the racial profiling commission that were never addressed in our city, which is that black and brown people on a daily basis are profiled and harassed by our police. I think that, you know, during this whole process, um, some actions that we've seen from the police department have only further um, pushed the fact that we need some oversight and accountability with the way that our police have handled some situations in the last year. But I do want to just say thank you to everybody involved. Um, and I want to see more um, being done in the way of us leading our state and our nation in, in holding police accountable. Thank you. Hold on. Hold on. Let me just take that. It's a good day. Oh. I would like to move this item. Second. Second. Can I get a big second from everybody? Second. All right. We've all seconded. All those, all those in favor, say aye. Aye. Any no's, abstention, motion passes. Good day for SAC. Thank you. <laughs> all right. Before we move on, Christina, I, I know I might be pushing it now. I'm admitting it before I say it. But would you mind taking a picture, or are we going to mess up your street cred before I? Are you good to take a photo? So for those who are on the racial profiling, before you all leave, can you guys come up front? And the members of the ad hoc, can you guys go down? We want to take a quick photo. Pro Tem, Vice Mayor, and Just Justice, yes, the community. I'm sorry. And uh, Council Member Jennings, real quick. We'll take a quick photo. Men and women in uniform, come on up. Fire and police, come on up. Be a part of it. Kevin Green, you can come on up. Chief Louie, come on up. Bob, come on up. You got a uniform. Come on, Bob. You got to work tonight. Fame, money, power. Celebrity athletes play by a different set of rules. When she was a teenager, she says Kevin Johnson sexually abused her. Celebrated as heroes. Playing like he invented the game. Other allegations brought by young girls. Some think they're untouchable, above the law. For over 20 years, Kevin Johnson has been accused repeatedly of these crimes, and he's allegedly used his power and wealth to silence his victims. Um, he started fondling me or whatever, and um, my stomach, my breasts, my butt. The release of a videotaped police interview with Johnson's then 16-year-old accuser. She says Sacramento Mayor Kevin Johnson sexually abused her. Accused Mayor Kevin Johnson of molestation. Including fondling, showering together, and rubbing his genitals against her bare thigh. 
She says he made her, quote, pinky promise she wouldn't tell anyone, and he offered to pay her $230,600. I haven't told her anything because I think he promised I wouldn't. I want to tell her what happened in the guest house, and I want to tell her what happened in the class and what happened at the church. Well, I said that the hub was more intimate than it should have been. Can I say something off the record? Sure. Koba is not the only one to accuse Johnson of inappropriate behavior. Young girls at St. Hope, the school Johnson founded. The St. Hope accusations. Teenage students at St. Hope High School accused Johnson of inappropriate contact. A Sacramento High School senior claimed that Johnson touched her inappropriately and kissed her on the cheek and forehead on several occasions. Their teacher, Eric Jones, resigned in protest, saying, quote, St. Hope sought to intimidate the students through an illegal interrogation. Johnson has faced allegations in his past. Past allegations of sexual misconduct. Two AmeriCorps volunteers at St. Hope also accused Johnson of making sexual advances. One reported Johnson even came to her home and slid his hand up her shirt. She also reported that he offered her $1,000 a month for her silence. She refused. A sexual harassment claim against Sacramento Mayor Kevin Johnson. The city worker who accused the mayor of making numerous sexual advances toward her. Saying Johnson routinely harassed her in 2013 and 2014. At one point, allegedly pressing his body up against Mueller's and asking her, quote, if she felt it. This is very troubling for the mayor. It's a cloud that's been hanging over his head. These allegations that have been following him for the last 20 years. Sacramento Mayor Kevin Johnson will not seek another term as mayor. Well, Kevin Johnson does have 14 months left in office. Join with men and women across Sacramento, California, and the nation to demand that Kevin Johnson resign from office immediately. Wait, wait, hold on. I'm not going anywhere. This, wait, wait. This is not my last day. This is not my last day. Tell Kevin Johnson it should be his last day at resignkevinjohnson.com. The video shows a fight in the commons area at Florin High School, and then a student lifting the principal and body slamming him into the ground. It was like chaos. There was students everywhere fighting, and uh, I seen uh, school officials get hurt. I seen security get hit. I seen the principal get flipped over. The sheriff's department moved in quickly to take action. There ended up being three arrests, three students that ended up being booked into juvenile hall for different charges. One student was arrested for making threats towards law enforcement, and two students were arrested for battery on a school official causing injuries. 